Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and today I'm going to be reading One Tiny Turtle by Nicola Davies. Far, far out to sea, land is only a memory. An empty sky touches the water. Just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is the nursery of a sea turtle. Passing in a boat, you might not notice the turtle. Not much bigger than a bottle cap, she hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so her shell is soft as old leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open, but the turtle is safe in her world of weeds and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimp. The turtle swims around, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She's flying underwater. She pokes her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a quick breath, so fast, blink, and you'd miss it. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides out the storms and floats through the hot calms. Steadily, she outgrows her nursery. Nobody sees her leave, but when you look for her, she's vanished all the same. A year or two later, she turns up close to land, bigger than a dinner plate now. She's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor, her head is tough as a helmet. She's grown into her name, Loggerhead. She has come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from the deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen's egg in her heavy jaws. But in a week, the feast is over and, logger, and the loggerhead disappears again. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search of food. In summer to cool seaweed jungles where she finds juicy clams and shoals of shrimp. And in winter to turquoise lagoons warm as the bath where she can munch among corals. Loggerhead may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. Only good luck will catch you a glimpse of her. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then, one summer night, she arrives on the beach where she was born. She's found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle. Feeling the current and the warmth of the waves, she remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's as big as a barrel now. Floating in the sea, she weighs nothing, but on land, she's heavier than a man. So every flipper step is a struggle and her eyes stream with salty tears, which help keep them free of sand. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach, scooping carefully with her hind flippers. She makes a steep, deep hole. Inside, she lays her eggs, like a hundred squidgy ping pong balls. Afterward, she covers them with sand to hide her nest from the hungry, mouths. Then Loggerhead is gone again, back to her secret life. Left behind, under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside. And before the summer is over, they wriggle from their shells. Above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until night. Then they burst through the sand and skitter towards the sea. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle. One day, she'll remember this beach and come back. But now she dives under the water, waves and swims. Swims and swims. Out into the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle. The end. Thank you for joining us today with One Tiny Turtle.